Trace has been moving this ball efficiently, and there you see him right here. Again, to his tight end, Holland. And Holland has the ball knocked free. They're going to say this is a fumble. Michael Marques back the other way. And of course, this will be reviewed. On second and four, they give it to Sanders again, makes a move. Sanders makes another move. And Miles Sanders is down at the 29 yard line. McSorley moving around in the pocket. McSorley stepping up. He can certainly run, dives for the first down. He's going to be right at that line at the 19. They're going to say he got the first down. It's Sanders making a move. Sanders spinning to the end zone. Touchdown. Miles Sanders with a touchdown for Penn State, 14 yards. McSorley, flag is thrown, takes a shot over the middle to Hamler, completes it, and Hamler is dragged down at the 43-yard line by Michael Marques, a 20-yard pickup. Let's wait to see what the flag is for. Tosses it out to Sanders, who's got some green to work with. And Sanders is tackled by Delshawn Phillips, but not before he gets 12 yards. Who needs King James when you got Baker Mayfield? Reggie Corbin goes out in motion, and they get it to Corbin. Corbin gets a block. Reggie Corbin in the open field gets tackled up at the 39-yard line. Fashion the other backs they use. And off to Epstein. Epstein breaks one. Went the distance as Garrett Taylor was finally able to bring him down. And then you got a lead block for the quarterback. That's hard. Rivers wide open. Trenard Davis. The ball downfield. Here's Epstein on the carry. Epstein reaching out for the pylon, and he's going to be marked down just short. Garrett Taylor with the tackle. They say he's going to be out at the two. First and goal from the two. It's Corbin, walking into the end zone, touchdown to Illini. It's kept by McSorley, makes the move, has the first down, and just gets tripped up to end the quarter by Bobby Roundtree. A 16-yard pickup on third and two. Very ticky tap ball over the head, ball overthrown. First and goal for the two. It's Sanders able to punch it in. They don't like it here at Memorial Stadium. <laughs> Second touchdown of the night for Miles Sanders. And yet another touchdown on a red zone opportunity for the Nittany Lions. That last drive be kept it on the ground primarily as he hands off here to Sanders up the middle. And you can see Sanders with that leg drive just moving everybody. And he's going to get a first down. How about that by Miles Sanders? Three rushing yards so far for Penn State. And they'll keep it on the ground with Sanders slips through the hole. And Sanders gets tackled from behind by Roundtree. Another first down. That was about 8.4 yards. McSorley moving around in the pocket, gets free. McSorley is going to run out of bounds at the 29-yard line. As he picks up another first down, gets 12. Sidney Brown chases him out. Veganism is the best. Sanders is in. McSorley keeps it. McSorley cuts it back. And he gets tackled at the five by Stanley Green. Really embarrassed him there. He don't get cut like that by a quarterback usually. The pass is complete. And a touchdown to Pat Frymuth. Frymuth almost stumbled before he got into the end zone, but he was able to stay on his feet just long enough. Sometimes it's too easy, and you have to make it hard. The bye week next week for these Illini. Makes sense. Hand off here to Corbin. Corbin gets a block down the field and takes it up to the 40-yard line, where Oruwarwe will make the tackle, a 15-yard run by Reggie Corbin. Epstein has 51 yards rushing so far. Penn State showing pressure off the edge. They hand off here to Corbin. Makes a nice move. A couple of nice moves. Here goes Corbin. Look at that. Reggie Corbin down the sideline. And Corbin gets chased down inside the 
15. A 66 yard run when Nick Scott finally brings him down. Parker, tight end is the blocker. They throw to Parker. And he gets it punched out, bobbled. Looks like Sam Mays with the heads up recovery there. Rivers throws to the end zone, and that is caught for the touchdown by Ricky Smalling. So now Daniel Parker can look to the sky and say thank you. <laughs> that he can. And his prayers were answered right there. I can tell you that he should be thanking Ricky Smalling and MJ Rivers there. I think Coach Frank have got him on the sideline. McSorley. He's going to get nice. tackled for a loss by Bobby Roundtree, and that will get the crowd into it. McSorley on first down will take the shot down the field and a double coverage and that they're going to say is picked off intercepted Colbert. he gets out of bounds at the 31 42 yard attempt for number 43 Kick into the wind is good. Plenty of leg for Chase McLaughlin. Defensive end. Second down and eight. It's kept here by Rivers. Rivers doing his best Trace McSorley impersonation as he takes it up to the 40 and gets 13. Penn State here tonight. The reverse. The pass. by the Nittany Lions, and there is a player down for Illinois. Rivers, pressure coming, and he gets set. Robert Windsor. On first down, it's Sanders again making moves. Miles Sanders up to the 45 of Illinois. Empty backfield on third and 12. McSorley steps up, throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Jawan Johnson. McSorley is so dangerous when he moves around in the pocket, and he did just that for a second passing touchdown of the night. Quarterback in high school, really an emotional leader for this team. Rivers to the near side, and they're going to say it's Intercepted, picked off by Jan Johnson. 21 of Illinois for McSorley and Penn State. McSorley taking the shot on first down to the end zone. Touchdown, K.J. Hamler, 21 yards. Hey, sir. K.J. Hamler is a versatile player. You'll see him inside, you'll see him out. Rivers on the run as his receiver open Daniel Barker. Barker has the first down. Is that, is that a long way to go on third down? Rivers. He throws to Green, able to make that catch in traffic. Not sure if his night is over. Ricky Slade in the game now. Ricky Slade up the middle. Slade, look at him go. Ricky Slade. Touchdown, 61 yards. He's saying, show me some love. KJ Hamlin on the very next play. Reggie Corbin goes in motion, the handoff to Rayvon Barner. Barner 
he ran into the umpire. Otherwise, he would have taken that for a bigger gain. He got 15 on it anyway. Second and three. Clifford gets tripped up, and he goes down. The sack for Bobby Roundtree. That's the easiest sack Bobby's ever going to have. Going into the game, Lovey wanted the Friday night game, and Franklin didn't. That might flip after. Clifford, he's got an arm, showing it off. Making the catch down at the one is Mac Hippenhammer. On third and 12, a 54-yard complete. Oh, it's first and goal from the one. Slade takes it in for the touchdown. Second rushing touchdown of the game for Ricky Slade. Ricky Slade stepped up tonight, knew he was going to get a little bit more carries now that Mark Allen is out, but Ricky Slade, Slade freshman running back. Unbelievable team. These guys make my job a lot easier. <laughs> so do you two. Intercepts it. Back the other way is Ellis Brooks. Another turnover, second of the game for the Illini. He's done a great job at protecting Trace McSorley and opening up huge holes for Miles Sanders. A handoff is to Brown, and Brown will get his share as he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. You like to see Miles Sanders excited for Journey Brown, excited for Ricky Slade, and there's a lot to correct in the film for the first half, so your guys aren't going to be cocky, but a lot to feel good about, too, in the second half. A win on the road on a Friday night to open up conference play. Eight straight wins for James Franklin against Big Ten West opponents as they move to 4-0. The 10th-ranked team in the nation goes on the road and wins.